to go ahead and take a live look outside. You can see it is still coming down right now. That is for sure. Audrey Puente, it's been coming down for a few hours now. I know you said we might get some sun later today. That's definitely not here yet, is it? Definitely not, Chris. <laughs> We're seeing this similar scene all across the tri state area at this hour. That has prompted the National Weather Service to continue the winter storm warning for much of the region. The area shaded in pink here is where we do have that warning in effect, and that's exactly where we're seeing the snow coming down in earnest. Here's a look at the radar looking pretty impressive with some of these darker shaded tones indicating a more intense snowfall rate. And this, we all this, uh, uh, some of these areas we actually call banding. This is when we see a nice thin layer or a, a stretch of snow that is coming down with such intensity that it appears dark here on the radar image. So let's zoom on into Long Island where we're seeing the most intense snowfall at the moment. It has been coming down at an inch or more an hour here, so it's really piling up, especially across Suffolk County. Let's say from West Islip through Brookhaven, the Hamptons and out towards Montauk Point, you're seeing some significant snowfall right now, and that includes areas across the Sound into the coastal sections of Connecticut too, right along I-95. It's very sloppy and dangerous. Right now is not the time to be out on the roadways. You want to give your uh, to kind of stay in and allow yourself to wait it out a bit because things are going to be coming to an end rather quickly soon. Uh, here east of the Hudson River, we have a couple of spots still seeing some intense snowfall. However, it is starting to lighten up in many spots and out across the areas west of the Hudson River. We're seeing marked improvement, especially across Sullivan County, now Western Ulster County, even into Orange County here. We're starting to see the drier weather working in behind the system, and this will quickly race eastward as we get into the next hour or two. Same thing for you in Sussex, New Jersey here over towards Warren County too. We're starting to see some clearing coming in, but it's still we have a swath of banding here going on across north central New Jersey, right around Denville, West Milford, over towards Bernardsville and down towards Reddington. This will slowly move eastward here. So while the snow appears to be lighter for you in places like Bergen County, Union County, Hudson County, even into New York City, we do have this intense band coming on our direction. So the snow may pick up in intensity as we get into the next 30 to 60 minutes or so. The area of low pressure associated with this, though, is still off towards offshore here. You can see uh, some of those lightning strikes here. That's indicating some very strong dynamics happening in the system. It's been very strong and been intensifying rapidly since light last night, and that's why we're seeing all of the um, incredible weather that we have here across the northeast. But you can see it's sort of sitting and spinning and moving quickly out to the east here. So the heaviest snowfall is now moving across Long Island, as I mentioned, over towards eastern Connecticut and now moving into New England as well. The back edge is now working through central Pennsylvania and central New York, and that will work from west to east across the region. All right, let's take a look at some of the snowfall totals here. Uh, these amounts were recorded a little while ago, roughly between 7 and 9 a.m., so they're probably adding to these totals as I report them here. 11 inches in Port Jervis. I'm guessing you're already up to a foot already, and thankfully the snow has stopped there. Highland Mills at about 9.5 inches, Middletown at 8 inches. Central Park, the last record, record was taken at 7 a.m. this morning. It's been some time, so I would probably add at least another inch there. 7 inches in Sparta, Paramus, New Jersey, coming in at 6 inches, Ramsey at about 5 inches, Montclair. For again, still, still snowing in a lot of these places, so we'll probably see an additional two to three inches into many of these totals before it's all said and done here. Right now, temperatures close to the freezing mark in many spots, including White Plains, where it's still snowing here. 32 in Poughkeepsie, 33 in Sussex. Now, a lot of the snow has been melting on contact, especially here in the city, but in areas where the colder surfaces or the roads are a little bit uh, colder, or the temperature is actually a bit colder, that's where we're seeing a pile up on some of the roadways, making it tough to get around. So it's really not a day or at least a morning to to be driving anywhere at this hour. Wind speeds, they've been picking up here. We're between, let's say, 15 to 20 miles per hour on average, but gusts are even higher than that. And because of those winds, the visibility has been reduced to less than a mile across parts of the region. So again, driving, not a good idea this morning. Believe it or not, you actually get a chance this afternoon because things will be coming to an end quickly, probably just after noontime, and we'll see improving conditions through the afternoon, and that's when you probably want to head out to get out and do what you need to do. Uh, looking at coastal flood advisories, we have warnings and watches. This is uh, because of the times of high tide. We could see some minor to moderate coastal flooding. A look at the future cast shows, or actually this is not the future cast. This is just a wider scope of the U.S. showing that we are really the bullseye here for any um, storm activity. A look at the future cast shows that here we are at 12 o'clock. We're already seeing the edge here moving into portions of New York City. Then just one hour later, moving across Long Island, changing over to rainfall by that point. And look at that. We're going to see sunshine coming through the clouds by the time it sets this evening. And we'll have a much drier evening ahead of us with maybe just an isolated shower or two passing in across the region. 